hey guys welcome to the channel and thank you for watching tiago silva el monstro is back in training can you believe it i'm so happy about it are you if you happy like me please give this video a like and subscribe to the channel thank you so much so tiago is back with the team but I am not sure that he's gonna travel to Madrid and I don't wanna even see him travel to Madrid because I wanna give him more time to recover. Probably in the second leg, he might be there. My guess is that he might play a few minutes against Brighton, okay? Because it's gonna be a game between the two legs of the Champions League. So you give him a few minutes against Brighton and then against Real Madrid in the second leg, you have to put him from the get-go because we have no choice. And only one month and a half left until the end of the season. So why are you saving him for? Okay, you have just to launch him out there and let's see what's going to happen because we need his experience. We need his leadership. He's a leader without talking, of course. And he's going to help us uh, eliminate Real Madrid. We're going to do the Di Matteo this time, people. Call me crazy if you want, but I have to dream about my team. It's going to be a very interesting to see how this time around it's gonna work with frank lampard because frank lampard is the guy who brought him to chelsea football club and the first game that he played as a captain away at west brom it didn't go according to the plan and people wanted to kill lampard and say that it was a big mistake and why give him the captain arm ban and you know when we are losing games it's just like everybody is gonna throw everything in you even the shoes that you are wearing is gonna be the reason why you lost uh, you lost the game so when you are winning people are waiting for next time you fail so they can make more theories and remember when tiago silva was awful it was frank lampard signing and when he went to win the champions league he became Marina Granovskaya signing, Thomas Tuko signing. Even though he was signed before Thomas Tuko joined Chelsea Football Club. But for some reason, he knew that one day he was going to come at Chelsea Football Club. Therefore, we have to sign Thiago Silva for the future. That's how evil works because you can't give credit to anybody you dislike you have to continue the evil way chelsea wanna sign joao felix on permanent joao felix wanna stay at chelsea football club very easy deal right bam bam done wrong listen we have to negotiate for the price with atleti remember they bought him for 120 million from benfica and they're not gonna let him go in less than 100 million in my humble opinion unless if chelsea negotiate another way from the beginning i said we have to keep him very good player very good to watch play but the end of the day we need to score goals okay and joao felix been making us lose a lot of games even the first game when he got the red card we were already 1-1 we were going to win that game i'm not blaming on him i'm just trying to highlight and make a point here he's hitting the post all the time he scored twice we paid 20 million only for six month loan only one month and half six weeks remaining until the end of the season and i haven't seen anything to be honest with you because this is the exact thing that we've been complaining with kai harvard manson mount and other strikers in the past so just because i tell the truth or i state fact doesn't mean that i have any kind of agenda or i don't want him at chelsea football club 
The problem is the truth need to be said. Even if you like somebody, there is nothing wrong by telling the truth that you're not doing it. So keep him, but he need to improve. I still, I still remember when we signed Kai Harvard and everybody went blank. Everybody said he's a generational talent. You don't ask questions. You sign him and you find a way to use him. We spend more than 75 million on Kai Harvard. I don't blame everything on him. I blame the position. I blame the management. I blame the systems, but also I blame himself because those one-on-one, -on -one, regardless of the position, regardless of the system, you have to score. So be careful what you wish for. Back in the day, everybody wanted to sell Manson Mount when we bought Kai Harvard. But if you are honest enough between Kai Harvard and Manson Mount, who delivered more in the Chelsea team? You tell me. If you confiscate their passport and you put them as two guys from Germany and you judge, judge them equally, who delivered more than the other? So Joao Felix, it's going to be interesting to see. Nkunku is coming. Nkunku plays in the same kind of region. I'm not saying position, but you know what I mean. In that free role there, are they going to start walking to each other's way? I'm not too sure how we're going to use Joao Felix and Christopher Nkunku. And this is telling me that they don't count on Manson Mount anymore. I think Manson Mount is leaving, going to Liverpool to enjoy his football. And you will see at the end of their careers who's going to deliver more. Joao Felix, Kai Havert, Christopher Nkunku or Manson Mount. And we're going to come back here in years and start talking about it. Let me know in the comment section down below. How are we going to use Joao Felix? And don't you think that we should like wait for the new manager to decide about certain players? I know the new Chelsea project is about you are the head coach. You don't make decisions when it comes to bringing players. But every manager in the world, they would like to bring at least a couple of players to implement what they are trying to do. They might not be like bling bling big names, but just those players are easy to coach and easy to implement what the new manager is trying to do. I saw some reactions on social media that we should wait for the new manager. The majority of the people want to keep Joao Felix, but some of us still skeptical and asking some questions because somebody need to tell the truth if we keep joa felix he need to improve and we have to be honest enough to criticize him fairly not getting on his family or insult or anything no if he does something good we say it we praise him but if he flops and then we have to be honest enough to say it 